I'm officially making the rule that if you are a company and the word Kevlar is in your company name or in a product that you make, it better be bulletproof. With that being said, today we are testing Kevlar rope. I got a bunch of Kevlar rope and I wrapped it into these plates. I have three different sizes, one that's wrapped around twice, one that's wrapped around four times, and this one is wrapped more than eight times in every single different direction. So I made these plates and we're gonna test them to see if these Kevlar rope is bulletproof. Not too long ago, I made a video testing string and it was actually pretty dang good at stopping bullets. So is Kevlar rope gonna be any better? If not, at the end of the day, we're just gonna stack all of these together and shoot them, but it should stop something. The only way to find out is to try it. So let's find out. Also, just so you know, there is a thin piece of cardboard in the center of these, just so that it helps kind of give it its shape. And then there's duct tape on the corners. Nothing, no duct tape in the center at all, but the corners, when I would switch directions of which way I was wrapping it, I put the duct tape there to keep it from actually like sliding off the corners and unraveling. Didn't want that to happen. So that's what the duct tape's for. Gonna start out with the thinnest plate that we made, the one that's wrapped around only twice. My honest prediction is that it's not gonna do anything. Like, it's, it's gonna go straight through this and blow up my water jug behind it. 115 grain, full metal jacket, nine millimeter. Absolutely not. Went straight through this rope. Was not even close to stopping it, so gotta try the bigger one. I don't think that this is gonna do any better, but may as well try. Same thing, nine millimeter. Yeah. Not good. It went straight through, started ripping out the back there. We are not off to a good start at all. This is not good at all. This is gonna be the quickest video I've ever made. Up next is the, the fattest and thickest piece of this Kevlar rope that I have. I think it's wrapped around 10 different times and I switch directions every single time, but I don't trust it at all. Try number three with the nine millimeter full metal jacket. Don't get your hopes up. So that is a good sign. Nothing on the water jug. Do feel it bulge, I think. But there's my hit. Went in, who knows how far, but I don't see it anywhere close by, so that's good. We might actually get to use a different bullet this time, so let's move up to something bigger. Up next, the 40 grain, 5, 7 by 28. Moving a heck of a lot faster, so can it go through? Probably. If we make it past this bullet, I will be surprised. This stuff might actually be good. There's the nine millimeter hit right above it. Five, seven by 28. Oh, dang. Very big bulge on the back, but nothing came through. I think there's a dent where it's kind of dented in. You won't be able to see it, but I can feel it. We were close that time. One layer, two layers. There's the bullet right there. So it needed, ow, that's hot. Yep. Just needed to go through two more layers and it would have made its way all the way through. Absolutely did not think I would make it this far, but the 762 by 39, this one's going through for sure. Absolutely destroyed this piece of Kevlar. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up all three of these plates. I don't have any more water jugs, but lucky for us, some people that come out on the range don't know how to clean up after themselves. So I'll just put this behind it and we'll know if it breaks. Line them up and we'll just go straight to the 223 308. See what happens. Here we go. Now we're in business. 223, full metal jacket. I'm gonna probably be out of frame of the camera. So I'll just do a close up of the actual rope and the bottle behind it. So you'll be able to see what happens. So it looks like it did stop it. This is actually pretty crazy. So I, I hit right here on the first big plate. Then I had the medium sized plate and there's my bullet all torn up and hot, but it got caught. It didn't barely, barely did any damage to this. This second plate it was just sitting there on top. What the heck? We're gonna go again with the 308 this time. Guys, you're gonna be mad at me. I didn't even bring the 50 cal. So hopefully the 308 does some more damage because that might be our last gun. 147 grain, full metal jacket, 308. Hopefully this does some damage because like I said, this is our last bullet because I did not, did not even think to bring the 50. That is what we like to see. Our bottle is still intact. This was the first plate, tore through, massive carnage. This is the second plate, absolutely insane. Went in right there, came out, and you can see the bullet right there. And very, very, 
very hot. And then here's the plate that was behind it. Did some damage. Guys, obviously it's safe to say the 50 cal would have gone straight through all of these, but I apologize for not even thinking to bring it. I thought that this rope would have been a lot worse at stopping bullets, but here we go. Kevlar rope did pretty dang good. As always guys, I truly do appreciate all of you who watch and comment on the videos. It means so much. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.